effort for sure. I know you guys are tired this morning, so doing a good job. So the key to this one is that outside leg, right? I gotta step the outside leg up. You gotta do a really good job. So as I'm in here, this guy's circling hard on me. As I go, as I slide my head out, the key is this outside leg steps up. Here, tables it up. Because now I got all this weight shifted. If I don't do that, I go here and I now we're just in a 50-50 scramble, and he's gonna, I'm in trouble. But look at the difference, here versus here. Here, boom. His leg's gotta step up, all right? So, he's gotta fight through it. Again, finish takedowns. This is fun, not glorious, not cool. It's not like, it's not like you go to practice, you're like, hey guys, I finished a bunch of takedowns today, and it was sick. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Takedowns are not fun. I'm sorry, finishes are not fun, but hitting takedowns are awesome. Then I get to get on top of them, just stick them, make them try to get away from me, or it's gonna, I just take it down again. But I gotta get my takedown, I gotta fight the finish. That's the hardest part. So, repetition, grab your partner, throwing yourself in here over and over and over and over again to try and figure it out. Try and figure it out. If you get taken down, it's okay. Not a big deal. Especially in practice. I get taken down in practice all the time, trying these different things. So I got a lot of good guys that wrestle in practice. I watch Wednesday Wrestling. Hopefully more people than that. We have five national champions in a row. And they're, luckily, they're all around my weight class. So I wrestle the best guys in the country every day. Right, and they're tough. So I got five different guys that let, I have to finish five different ways because they're all so good. So I just keep throwing myself in there over and over and over again until I figure it out. If they scramble, they kick away, they got strong hips, they got good wizards. That's how I start developing some of these finishes. So just gotta keep throwing yourself in there and practice it over and over and over again. There's no, there's no other way I can tell you to do it. Just gotta keep trying to figure it out. So we'll switch over to high crotch now. Unless you guys have any questions on single leg? Any questions on finishing a single leg? We got it? Those are my, those are my favorite. All right, so head outside. So for me, head outside single, I like to go crack down. Crack down is kind of a dangerous position for some people, but if I have a plan and I know what I want to do, it's very effective, right? Very effective. So the key to a crack down is my shoulder. My shoulder has got to stay tight to his thigh. If I crack down, I learned this lesson really hard my freshman year. I was undefeated in the NCAA finals. I thought I was untouchable. Shot a head outside single, I cracked down really lazily, I got cradled, I got pinned. Worst day of my life. It sucked so bad. So I learned really hard that I should probably keep my, my shoulder tight to his leg. So I learned the hard way. So I don't want you guys to learn the same lesson I learned. So I'm telling you now, you back your way down, keep your shoulder tight to his thigh. Say it again, what do you gotta do? Keep your shoulder tight to his thigh. You guys got it, you guys are way better than I am. So I shoot my high crotch again. We're gonna start in on a high crotch. Again, we're not gonna just all right, this is sweet. I love to drill this, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way in practice. It doesn't work that way in matches. Sometimes I'm just gotta fight, claw, and poke him in the eye, and then shoot my shot, and he crawls on me. And I'm, I'm in this position, and this is no fun. All right, but finishing the high crotch is very similar to finishing the head side single. Head up, chest straight. Right. So what I want to do is I'm trying to build this guy up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna punch like I'm doing a. I'm trying to punch my knee, I'm going to drive his hip to the ground. So I'm going to drive up, and I'm going to punch. As I punch, I'm going to rotate, and I'm going to get my shoulder to a side. Right here, cool. So I know in my head, I know that my finish is going to go crack down every time. There's been a lot of coaches that tell me, don't go crack down. But I feel very comfortable here. And I would rather be here than, I just have never been good. I've never been good at doing this. You know, guys, he on me, you know, doing the knee slide. That's just hard for me. Kyle Snyder, he's a beast. He's lost shorter than me. It's really easy for him to just knee side pop someone up over in the air. I just have a hard time doing that. Never been good at it. So I had to learn. Okay, my finish is going to be cracked down. So I'm sprawled out here. So again, same thing. This guy sprawls out. The same thing. He's trying to get corner and grab my foot. So this is the fight. I can't let this guy grab my foot. I got to keep squaring up with him, right? I got to keep squaring up with this guy. That's the fight. So I'll go head up, back straight, same technique we just went over. But as I drive into this guy, as I drive in, I'm gonna crack down. I'm gonna punch across, 
I'm going to drive my shoulder to his thigh. Boom. Right here. This outside foot stays up. Because if I do this, a guy with three hips is going to sprawl. His legs will come back, and I'm back in the same position. So this is usually a fight. I'm in here. I'm pinching my shoulder really strong. My outside foot's up, and I'm driving. This guy's trying to get his hip back over across. But I'm doing this. Driving this guy down. All right? Driving this guy down. Keeping my shoulder tight. If my shoulder slips to the outside, now we're in a fight. He's trying to get the corner on me. Come on, get him. Get him. But this is the fight. So if my shoulder slips out, I gotta make sure I can get my shoulder back in. So if my shoulder slips out here, I gotta fight with my shoulder back to his side. If he's trying to see the corner on me, I gotta get the gear. Get my post up and drive in this guy. Tight. So partner, I want you, so I want you to try and get the corner, so we're going to go out and just get the back down. So I'm going to be here, he's going to crack me down, and all I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to try and scoot the corner on this guy. So he's going to keep his shoulder tight, right? Make him kind of press up in the position. He's going to do a good job. It's pretty hard to trick. Let me get him here. Shoulder still tight. Alright? So just play around there for a couple seconds. Defensive guy, me, my job is to try and get a shoulder out. So he's gonna, again, don't take a bad shot to start. No, nope, just don't just start in there. Just start in. I'm sprawled out. I'm trying to get the corner. He's gonna square up with me. Square up. Crack me down. Keep that shoulder tight. Good job. And I'm just gonna try and scoop the corner. Get a shoulder out of here. He's gonna keep the shoulder tight. Right? That's the drill. So, this guy, my job, is here, he's trying to get the corner, get my ankle, I'm gonna crack him down, keep my shoulder tight, get my post up. Play with the fish in. You can finish it, finish it. But I don't really want you to, I want you to just worry. You cross up, keep the shoulder tight in the sky, keep the outside foot up, keep the pressure in this guy. Got it? One, two, three. 